The Beretta ARX 160 is a 22 long rifle training companion to the Beretta ARX 100. And honestly, I didn't even know the thing existed up until a couple of weeks ago when, of course, I picked this one up. But I have found out that it seems to be pretty popular with video games like Call of Duty. Now, I'm not a big gamer, but if you are and you've got any experience with the ARX 160 in a video game, I'd love to hear your experiences down in the comments below. Now, me being more into the traditional 22 rifle like that of the Marlin Model 60, it begs the question, how good is the Beretta ARX 160? And to answer that question, we really got to look at two factors. How reliable is it and how accurate is it? So today we're going to test out reliability with five different types of 22 long rifle ammunition and then put the Beretta ARX 160 head to head in an accuracy battle up against one of my Marlin Model 60s. So let's go. What's up crew? It's Chris with CloverTac and welcome back to the channel. Let's jump straight into some reliability testing with five different types of ammunition here. Going to run 10 rounds of each of these. Now, I don't have a target down range. I'm just going to shoot into the berm because really all we're doing is checking the reliability. But when we're talking reliability, we're mainly looking for two things. The first is, does the ammunition cycle the action properly? The second thing is that last round bolt hold open. Not all rifles have that. In particular, not all 22 rifles have that. This one does. So we're going to make sure that not only does the ammunition cycle properly, but it also has that last round bolt hold open. Before we get to live fire, though, as always, safety first. I got my eyes on, putting my ears in now. Let's do this. We'll start out here with 10 rounds of the Federal Auto Match ammunition. Uh, hopefully this cycles well because I've got a ton of this ammo. I really do like it. Here we go. Cycle fine, bolt hold open is there. Good deal. And now 10 rounds of this herder's hunting ammunition. And uh, I'll be honest, my first time shooting this, hopefully it does well. Here we go. Cycled fine. Bolt hold back was there. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but uh, I did have a case blowout. I had a case rupture on this stuff. But my first time using the herder stuff, let me know in the comments below if you've used this stuff and you've had similar problems. Thankfully, it was nothing catastrophic. Next up, we're going to go with 10 rounds of the Remington Golden Bullet ammunition. And quick side note here that I have found it does make a difference in what type of bulk you buy these Remington Golden Bullets. Uh, I usually pick up, if I pick them up in this 100 round box, if you get a larger box or even the bucket, I find that the quality, the quality control really drops the uh, bigger the bulk packaging is. But let's see how well these are going to cycle. Here we go. And Remington Golden Bullets cycle fine, run fine, lock back the bolt, so no problems there. Now we're going to go with 10 rounds of the Winchester Super X, and this is an ammunition I got quite a bit of experience with too. Probably my favorite round for small game hunting. Now the velocity on this ammunition is up there kind of close to that uh, herders, so uh, hopefully we don't have a case rupture with this, but let's see what it does. And uh, yeah, everything ran fine. We had no case ruptures. Cycled great, bolt held back, and uh, that's about all you can ask for. Next up is another really popular ammunition in the CCI Mini Mag. I don't expect any issues with this, but uh, let's see what it does. And as expected, cycles fine. Uh, bolt lock back, bolt hold open is there. So all in all, as far as the reliability goes with the Beretta ARX 160, across at least these five ammunitions, 
not terribly bad. The little case blowout we had with the herders, again, I've never shot that before, and so maybe it's just subpar ammunition. Now, before we test out the accuracy of this Beretta ARX160, just curious, out of the five ammunitions we have here, the Herders, the Winchester, the Federal, the CCI, and the Remington, which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Time to compare the accuracy between the Beretta ARX160 and an old school Marlin Model 60 here. Now, I do have one of our targets from Outdoor Products Plus, 25 yards downrange. Going to shoot two different five round groups. The first with some Federal Auto Match here, that being one of my favorites. Uh, and then the second with the CCI Benny Mags. And since we're going for accuracy here, of course, going to be using the Caldwell Lead Sled Solo. So we've got to get things situated and, of course, dialed in here. We'll see what kind of control groups we could put up with the little marlin. Here we go. That was the Federal Auto Match. Move down to the next bullseye here. And we've got the CCI Mini Mag. Here we go. All right, same course of fire for the we're at an ARX 160, starting out with the Federal Auto Match. Here we go. Now we'll adjust to our next bullseye here. And CCI Mini Mag. And now, of course, it's time to compare those targets. Well, here we are taking a look at the targets and again, the Marlin Model 60. There on the left, the Beretta ARX 160 on the right, Federal Auto Match on top, CCI Mini Mag on bottom. And I don't see many complaints about uh, these groups at all. Uh, I will tell you, you can see that flyer there, the Federal Auto Match, the ARX 160. Since we were Working from a rest, I'm going to have to attribute that to ammo. I don't mind owning it, but we were from a rest, so I don't really see how that could have been me. But the ARX 160 really did shine. This is surprising with that CCI Mini Mag. But we can't thumb our nose at the Marlin Model 60 because whether it's the Federal Auto Match or the CCI Mini Mag, really consistent groups there. But as always, I'm curious to hear your thoughts about that target and the accuracy comparison here between the Model 60 and the Breda ARX 160. Be sure to let me know that down in the comments below if you're looking for other 22 long rifle videos like maybe Federal Punch personal defense ammunition, checking some of that stuff out. Well, got you some videos linked right up here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.